guys, so I just wanted to do a really quick video. It's like 9.30 at night, but I felt like I wanted to do something. I hadn't done a video in a long, long time. So I'm just, you know, like I said, it's like 9.30. Seafoam Green from NYX. Or NYX. It's actually NYX. And just putting that on the lid. Of the eye. And I just really went into my different drawers, like the liner, and I just was like, let me just pull out, let me just pull out whatever I want, whatever my hand gets to, I'm just going to pull out and use. So that's on the lid. Then I'm going to take Ether from MAC, actually stop that, I'm not going to take Ether. I'm going to take um, the Pattern Maker collection, this was... So long ago, I don't even know. It might have been a Nordstrom exclusive. I got this a long time ago. And I'm using this, this uh, center brown. It's called uh, Unsquared. I use it a lot in my crease. You can, if you don't have this, any kind of soft brown will do. I'm just going to hit that in my crease. Let's see. Okay, right there you could see. Then I'm going to take either I was talking about before, and this is a Maxine's Mop Long Cornell brush. And because it's multi, it doesn't matter, it's just wherever you decide to go in um, the marble. I'm just going to take that on the outer corner towards the inner because I actually want to leave some of that um, seafoam green pencil um, visible. Okay, so you can see that, right? Yeah. Alright, then just because I have a closer mirror, I'm just going to touch up that sea foam and actually just use my finger and kind of blend it. Just a little. This is a quick one, two, three kind of look. Then, I just picked up a purple um, pigment. I'm going to list all the names on my blog. And I'm going to take that with um, Essence of Beauty Crease Brush from CVS. And I'm going to take that into the crease. Right here, just on the outer. Now, you guys know that I do work from MAC, um, and you're probably like, well, I know she does her makeup every day, she goes to work, why don't I see a lot more videos? I just don't have the time, honestly, to get them recorded, and then to go ahead and edit them. So, unless I'm doing, like, one of these, like, quick, you know, half my face before, you know, the boy's already trying to settle down to bed kind of deals. It just doesn't happen. I'm just going to touch up that crease color, the brown, again. Take that all the way, softly, all the way over. And I'll get some pictures up and I'll put it on my blog, my makeup blog. Then from OCC, I'm taking Oberon. You can't see it, but OCC Oberon. Um, a nice soft shimmery with a touch more pink in it. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I believe I got this from Crown Blush. One of the makeup shows. And just go ahead and do my highlight with it. And it's kind of like um, like pink opal from MAC. If you have that color, that pigment, that would be the substitute. Or if you just, you know, you want it to go a little softer, you could do vanilla that has more of the gold. Okay. And 
and now I'm taking that same crease brush too from, and I'm going into shroom. This palette actually just happens to have shroom. And then I'm just going to hit right at the highlight here. And then just blend it down a little bit. Nice and easy, right? I think the pictures will probably pick up a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> Wet n Wild Waterproof Liner. This is a very liquidy. I just, like I said, I went into my draw each, um, each item used, I just went in there and pulled out whatever my hand touched first. I have so much stuff that it's kind of like, it's, it's fun to play like that if you're doing it like that, just to kind of go in there and pull it out. So I'm not even going to hold my eye. I'm just going to kind of look down and get that liner in there. All right, and just make sure the outer corner has that. Okay, the only thing I did hand select, oh wait, before I do that, I'm going to go back into the ether on an angled brush and do my lower lash line. And then on the inner corner, just kind of a repeat of the top, just do the, the next pencil, the seafoam green, just to where it meets, okay? And then you guys know I love this product. I love it. If you don't have it yet, if you haven't invested yet, it's not even investment, it's $14. The Lash Primer. The Lash, the, um, the MAC Prep and Prime Lash. I love this stuff. I mean... I don't know if you guys saw that video that I did where I was actually in the middle of doing my makeup for work where I wasn't even recording it. I don't think I re was I recording it? No, I wasn't. And I actually stopped recording to, I mean, I actually stopped doing my makeup so I could um, talk to you guys about the product. Okay, then I'm taking the Hot and Naughty Lash. I copy that from Brittany. She's like, I feel like I have to say hot and naughty like that. <laughs> okay, and then I'm taking the bigger side, the purple side, the purple pink combo side. Just going a little dramatic, might as well. And with that lash primer, you don't let it dry. You just do like one coat and then one and then your coats of mascara. And honestly, you don't even need more than two coats of mascara. If you're doing really dramatic, you can. Just, I'm actually going to be done with just one of the hot and naughty on top. I love this mascara. I'm actually going to pull out the pink. I'll touch, I'll use the pink side, the smaller side, just to fan them out a little bit more. And then, oh lord! Didn't I say they were calming down for 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 the night? And then just use the um, pink side, the pink only, and at the bottom. And that is the quick look for today. I have a little flower thing going in here. I'll take some pictures and of course I'll list all the products that I use. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was quick enough. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay.